Greetings, everyone. When conditions are favorable, catfish farming holds significant profit potential. Nevertheless, akin to other agricultural ventures, catfish cultivation demands substantial investment capital and entails various risks. Hence, the crucial question arises, what methodologies are optimal for catfish rearing? Delve into our video below to explore advanced techniques for cultivating catfish in medium-scale operations. Contemporary catfish enclosures are meticulously crafted to enhance productivity while mitigating environmental impact. Similar to numerous pisciculture setups, they employ a recirculating system for catfish cultivation. This contemporary approach yields substantial advantages, necessitating the recirculating catfish enclosure's design to ensure optimal depth and lake height. Furthermore, supplementary systems such as water purification, automated feeding, surveillance, wastewater treatment, and a plethora of other equipment are integrated to establish optimal conditions conducive to catfish growth. In extensive catfish farming operations such as this, a time-saving method is employed instead of manually incubating the eggs. This involves directly injecting sperm into the ovaries for fish breeding. Typically, this fertilization technique begins with the careful selection of healthy sperm, which is then preserved in cold conditions within test tubes. Subsequently, the prepared sperm is introduced into the catfish ovaries to facilitate the reproduction of high-quality catfish. Understanding the appropriate care and feeding protocols is paramount for accelerating catfish growth. Generally, catfish feeding regimens should be tailored according to the fish's age and size. During the initial stages of life, a mixture of feed is recommended, with smaller pellet sizes being suitable. As the catfish mature, larger food sizes can be introduced accordingly. Once the catfish attain a weight of one kilogram or more, transitioning to feed sizes of eight or 10 millimeters 
may be considered optimal. In addition to the food size, the feeding frequency plays a crucial role in catfish farming. Typically, catfish are fed twice a day, although some operations may opt for once daily feeding to streamline processes. Ensuring adequate oxygen supply is a routine and vital aspect of fish care. Oxygen aerators play a significant role in maintaining water cleanliness within the tank, while filters contribute to the overall health of the fish. As catfish are harvested and prepared for market, primarily destined for processing plants, meticulous cleanliness and sterilization of equipment are paramount before commencing the slaughter process. Initially, the catfish are conveyed to the washing area where unnecessary organs are removed. Subsequently, each fish is thinly sliced and the resulting meat is transported to the packaging section where it is labelled and stored at cold temperatures to maintain freshness for consumers. The effectiveness and profitability of a catfish farm hinge on the operational strategies and the farmer's dedication to management. Catfish farming not only serves as a primary income source, but also fulfills familial recreational and dietary requirements. The success of well-structured and maintained catfish farms underscores the importance of meticulous planning. Don't miss out on a single moment of this exhilarating experience. Share and activate notifications to join us in exploring this marvellous realm. When discussing the most exquisite caviar in the world, what comes to mind? Salmon Row stands out as a true gem in the realm of culinary excellence. With its vibrant orange hue and characteristic aroma of the sea, it orchestrates a symphony of flavors that enrapture the senses. However, what truly distinguishes these eggs is not only their culinary appeal, but also their rich omega-3 and protein content, making them a delectable yet nutritious delicacy. Salmon roe serves not only as a perfect adornment for dishes like sushi and sashimi, but also as a wholesome gift of health. The intricate link between health and welfare underscores the inseparable interconnection across various facets of the economy within the salmon farming value chain, from egg production to marine cultivation. The modern breeding of salmon, supported by advanced machinery and technology, unveils a fascinating process. Alternatively, manual breeding techniques also play a significant role in this endeavour. Geneticists carefully select eggs and sperm from the highest quality female and male fish. Subsequently, 
the fertilization process combines genetic characteristics from both individuals to foster genetic diversity. The eggs are then placed in a controlled incubation environment to closely monitor their development. Once they reach the appropriate stage, the eggs are transferred to a rearing environment to foster continued growth. This meticulous process serves to enhance the health and growth potential of salmon in aquaculture settings, thus contributing to the sustainability of the salmon supply chain and the preservation of biodiversity. Following the incubation phase, when it's time for the young fish to move from the confined trays to larger tanks, as the trays are lifted from the tray environment, the fish are carefully placed into the prepared tanks. This transition provides the young fish with more space to swim and grow. Initially, they may experience a sense of disorientation in the unfamiliar terrain. However, over time, they adapt, seek hiding spots, and gather together, thereby improving their survival and developmental prospects in the new environment. Introducing small feed into the tanks allows the young fish to learn to consume solid food, and they actively attempt to catch and consume it. Patience and keen observation are essential to ensure that all fish have equal access to and consume sufficient food. Salmon farming is indeed an emerging aquaculture practice that is rapidly gaining prominence as the fastest growing food production system worldwide. Projections estimate that by 2025, the industry will reach approximately 4.9 million tonnes. With significant expansion on the horizon, efforts to enhance environmental sustainability within the salmon farming industry, particularly in regions like Chile, are of profound significance. These efforts represent a crucial step in the global endeavour to provide sustainable food for a growing population while ensuring responsible and environmentally sustainable food production practices. Atlantis SUBC Farming introduces an innovative solution to the aquaculture sector with its sub -si fish farming system. By utilising wastewater for feeding, it conserves up to 90% of energy compared to traditional methods. Notably, this pioneering battery technology provides 240 kiluan to the feeding fleet, establishing an energy-efficient operational framework. Taking sustainability to the next level, the underwater fish farming facility has the capability to submerge beneath the ocean surface. This not only protects the water environment, but also mitigates the risk of fungal disease transmission and effectively prevents salmon infestations, demonstrating a holistic approach to sustainability and environmental protection. As for the harvesting and processing of salmon, it's fascinating to see how facilities like Kovos in Finland are dedicated to sustainability and quality. Their commitment to responsible sourcing and precise production 
ensures that consumers can enjoy delicious and nutritious salmon products while also supporting environmental conservation efforts. It's inspiring to see businesses like Kovos not only thrive, but also contribute positively to their communities. You can tip the scales at a whopping 500 kilos. We genuinely Now, the burning question. Are these colossal creatures considered seafood? And how exactly do we go about harvesting them? Join us as we delve into these mysteries in today's video. Giant clams, as their name suggests, are easily distinguished by their immense size, stretching up to 1.3 meters in length and boasting an average weight of over 250 kilos. They are slow-growing, long-lived beings, earning the title of the world's largest living bivalves. These majestic creatures inhabit the tropical waters of the Indian and Pacific Oceans. Unfortunately, their population in the wild is rapidly dwindling due to illegal harvesting, leading to their classification as a rare and endangered species at risk of extinction. In efforts to preserve this species, extensive research has been conducted on successfully propagating and raising giant clams. This not only aids in conserving the seed source, but also proves to be highly profitable. Giant clams, being hermaphrodites, have the unique ability to release both eggs and sperm simultaneously. Breeders typically select giant clams in their 20s to serve as reproductive individuals. Once the eggs and sperm are harvested, they are fertilized, resulting in swimming larvae. These larvae undergo several rapid developmental stages, transitioning from floating plankton to settling on the seabed as small clams. Approximately 40 hours post-hatching, the initial signs of their muscular shells start to emerge. After about a year, the giant clams reach a length of around 10 centimeters, firmly attaching themselves to substrates such as bricks. At this stage, the one-year-old baby giant clams are transferred to farms for further cultivation. As these giant clams grow to about 15 centimeters in size, they are relocated to offshore nurseries over the next five to eight months. Here, they are affixed to wire mesh to prevent separation during rising sea levels and enclosed within cages to shield them from predators like triggerfish. Eventually, the giant clams are resettled onto the seabed where they can continue their growth journey, ultimately reaching their colossal adult size. Today, Cray stands out as one of the world's premier giant clam farms. Dozens of sizable tanks accommodate these majestic creatures of varying sizes, continuously supplied with seawater directly from the ocean. Remarkably, giant clams possess the ability to generate their own sustenance through photosynthesis, akin to plants. 
Requiring nothing more than a weekly replenishment of water and time to mature, these creatures flourish in their controlled environment. The allure of giant clams extends beyond their impressive physical stature. Their succulent meat holds considerable value. Utilized in a myriad of delectable dishes, cherished by diverse cultures worldwide, giant clam meat is highly sought after. The market price of giant clams varies depending on factors such as size, weight and shell quality, ranging from $400 to $2,400 per specimen. Renowned for its delightful crispiness and chewiness, giant clam meat lends itself to numerous culinary preparations. Whether grilled, steamed, incorporated into porridge, or stir-fried with garlic butter, the versatility of this delicacy knows no bounds. The thickness of a shell coupled with the uniqueness of its mother-of-pearl hues, serves as a wellspring of inspiration for artisans. Each shell seems to evoke creative fervor, igniting the imagination of craftsmen. Thus, every artist not only meticulously cuts and polishes, but also infuses life into each intricately sculpted line. With that... Presently, the annual output of squid exploitation has surged to 900,000 tons. Post-processing, these squid find their way to international markets like China, Korea and the United States. Squid fishing presents a formidable challenge for South American residents, navigating through harsh climates and enigmatic ocean depths. This region is renowned for its rich marine biodiversity, notably the presence of giant squids. Wondering about the catch per trip? Millions of tons of squid are harvested annually from these seas. Giant squid fishing isn't merely an economic pursuit, but also an avenue to commune with nature, delving into the realm of these colossal, sentient beings beneath the ocean's surface. Currently, there are approximately 10 commercially harvested squid species, with short fin squid, Ilex argentine and humble squid topping the list. Equipped with advanced navigation systems and specialised gear, fishing vessels efficiently scour vast open sea areas for squid. The method involves utilising powerful lights to lure squid to the surface, followed by capture using nets or specialised squid jigs. As per early 2023 data from the Ministry of Production, this country's squid exports totaled 320,000 tonnes, valued at $590 million. This achievement not only underscores the robust competitiveness of the squid industry, but also positively impacts the overall economic landscape contributing to maintaining a steady growth rate. These seafood processing facilities have generated employment opportunities and boosted income levels for the populace. The contribution of the squid export industry not only bolsters the national revenue stream, but also fosters sustainable development creating conducive conditions for communities and spurring diversified economic activities. What's your assessment of the quality of this seafood? If you find it delightful and satisfactory, kindly indicate by leaving a one. Conversely, if there are aspects you believe warrant emphasis or improvement, please leave a zero.
Come along with us as we explore the renowned Ocean Show Seafood Processing Plant, renowned for its commitment to advanced and safe processing practices. This facility not only prioritizes freshness, but also upholds environmental conservation through cutting edge processing lines. It produces premium quality products while preserving the inherent nutritional value of the seafood. Cuttlefish tentacles or body segments are expertly fashioned into various forms and packaged individually, offering consumers convenient choices. Does this squid cuisine entice your palate? Squid serves as an excellent source of high quality protein, vital for enhancing bodily health. It boasts an array of minerals such as iron, zinc, potassium and calcium, crucial for maintaining bone, dental and muscular health. Additionally, Squid is abundant in omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, which support brain function, cardiovascular health, and confer myriad benefits for heart health. Have you ever indulged in delectable dishes crafted from giant octopus? Intrigued by the artistry of fishermen who skillfully harvest millions of tons of these colossal cephalopods? Embark on a special expedition with us as we journey into remote seas, uncovering the methods employed by seafarers to harness the ocean's bounty. Fishermen typically employ traps lowered to the seabed to ensnare octopus. As these creatures seek refuge within the traps, their movement becomes restricted to one direction, preventing them from retracing their path. Did you know that octopus holds a special place in Japanese cuisine? particularly in delicacies like fresh sashimi. In Japanese culinary tradition, the succulence of octopus meat is directly proportional to its size. To ensure optimal freshness, chefs promptly process the octopus upon its arrival ashore. A giant octopus can weigh up to 40 kilo, with tentacles spanning the size of an adult's wrist, Chefs expertly disassemble the octopus, separating the head from the tentacles and dividing each tentacle. If you're enticed by this culinary delight, kindly signify by leaving a one in the comments. With hundreds of millions of frogs nurtured and produced annually, the frog farming sector plays a pivotal role in the livelihoods and economies of numerous Asian nations. Join us as we embark on an enlightening journey to uncover the diversity and intricacies of the frog farming process, tracing the path from delicate eggs to succulent frog legs adorning dining tables. Did you know that Vietnam stands as one of the foremost countries in frog exports globally? Fueled by its diverse agricultural landscape and natural conditions, frog farming has emerged as a significant industry offering a stable source of income for countless households and farming communities. The success of Vietnam's frog farming industry is rooted in the amalgamation of modern frog care techniques and the preservation of traditional culinary culture, solidifying frog products as an indispensable element of the local gastronomy.
Did you know that you can kickstart a frog farming venture with as little as 2 million Vietnamese dong, equivalent to approximately $90? The frog farming industry not only offers diverse and nutritious food sources for consumers, but also generates numerous employment opportunities for rural communities. From nurturing and caring for the frogs to harvesting and processing them, frog farming contributes significantly to a diverse and sustainable agricultural production network. Let's delve deeper into the intricate processes involved in raising these fascinating creatures. Male frogs are administered a type of aphrodisiac to facilitate mating, after which they are introduced into separate tanks designated for mating and egg laying. The mating ritual of frogs typically commences when male frogs emit distinctive calls or vocalizations to attract female counterparts. Upon entisement, female frogs approach the males and mating occurs with the male embracing the female from behind. In this embrace, the male releases sperm to fertilize the eggs laid by the female frog. On average, it takes approximately one to three weeks for frog eggs to hatch into tadpoles. Tadpoles inhabit aquatic environments and possess gills to respire underwater. As tadpoles progress through their growth stages, they undergo a remarkable metamorphosis, transitioning from gilled larvae to limb-bearing creatures. During this transformation, their tails regress and their bodies undergo a reshaping process, resembling the features of adult frogs. Upon completion of metamorphosis, tadpoles emerge as young frogs, also referred to as froglets or froglets. At this juncture, they possess fully developed lungs and limbs, albeit smaller and less mature compared to adult frogs. As part of the frog farming regimen, farmers commonly segregate young frogs into distinct tanks or enclosures. This practice serves various purposes, including managing frog growth, monitoring health, mitigating overcrowding, and fostering optimal developmental conditions. Tank maintenance entails regular cleaning of walls, surfaces, and equipment to deter algae and bacterial proliferation. Commercial frog feed, comprising premium ingredients, is meticulously formulated to ensure superior nutrition. Constituents typically include fish meal, soybean meal, assorted grains, vitamins, minerals, and essential additives vital for frog health and growth. Designed as floating pellets, the feed facilitates easy accessibility for both female and male frogs. Feeding frequency and quantity vary depending on frog species, age, and developmental stage. The frog harvesting process is a meticulous and professional task executed by dedicated farmers. When frogs reach the desired size or developmental stage, farmers meticulously catch them, gently placing them into mesh bags designed to hold around 15 to 20 kilograms of frogs each. Throughout the harvesting process, farmers take immense pride and satisfaction in the results of their hard work and dedication to nurturing and caring for the frogs. Each frog is handled with utmost care to ensure a safe and proper harvesting procedure. This process not only yields profits for farmers, but also contributes to the sustainability and growth of the frog farming industry. Frogs are carefully packed in bags and transported to processing plants via refrigerated trucks to maintain product quality. Upon arrival, frogs undergo thorough washing with salt water to remove impurities and dirt from their bodies. The frog legs are meticulously selected from fresh frogs without the use of harmful preservatives or chemicals. Renowned for their delicious freshness and aroma, 
Each sizable piece of frog meat reportedly offers a unique combination of crispy texture on the outside and tender meat on the inside, creating a truly delightful culinary experience. The aroma and flavor are said to be irresistible from the very first bite. Come along with me as we delve into the operations of the world's largest shrimp farming facility. Let's embark on this journey together. The realm of shrimp farming is rapidly expanding and evolving, emerging as a pivotal sector within the global aquaculture industry. Not only does it serve as a significant revenue stream, but it also fosters employment growth in numerous coastal rural regions, thereby bolstering the economies of nations involved in production. Shrimp farming not only creates job opportunities, but also boosts national income through exports. Effective water management stands out as a critical factor in ensuring the well-being and growth of shrimp throughout the farming process. Farmers closely monitor various aspects of water quality, such as temperature, pH, salinity, and levels of dissolved oxygen. They also implement aeration systems to maintain adequate oxygen levels for the shrimp. Furthermore, sourcing larvae or post larvae from reputable hatcheries is crucial to ensure the health of the shrimp and prevent diseases during rearing. Feeding the shrimp adequately is essential for their growth during the farming phase, with feedings occurring three times daily to support optimal growth. Shrimp are typically categorized based on size, often determined by the number of shrimp per pound. Additionally, shrimp types are classified according to species and quality factors such as freshness, colour and overall quality. Various methods, such as trawling or shrimp traps, are commonly employed in the shrimp harvesting process. Modern processing plants have increasingly adopted advanced automated sorting systems utilizing computer vision algorithms and machine learning to ensure precise and efficient classification. However, manual sorting by trained workers may still be necessary in smaller stages of the process to achieve optimal product quality. In the shrimp processing stage, the next critical step involves head separation and shell peeling crucial for determining the final product's quality. Skilled workers perform this task with precision and expertise, requiring concentration and specialized skills to maintain the shrimp's shape and quality. Beyond merely providing a clean shrimp product, this process enhances the overall culinary experience for consumers. The prompt removal of shrimp heads plays a crucial role in maintaining shrimp freshness and prolonging storage time. This step is particularly vital immediately following the harvesting process, especially in large-scale processing facilities. Head removal not only preserves the shrimp's original flavour, but also inhibits bacterial growth thereby ensuring the final product attains the highest quality. In the shrimp head peeling process, modern technology is utilized to eliminate the shrimp's vein. This not only results in a pristine shrimp product, 
but also prevents the presence of veins that could potentially impact flavour. In large processing facilities, machines execute this task with precision and meticulous oversight. This automated approach guarantees consistency in both taste and quality, delivering an exceptional experience for consumers. In this stage, shrimp undergo a rapid freezing process aimed at preserving their texture, flavour and overall quality. Shrimp meat not only serves as an excellent source of high-quality protein, but also plays a pivotal role in cellular structure development, maintenance and repair within the body. Additionally, shrimp meat contains omega-3 and omega-6 fatty acids, promoting heart and brain health. With low cholesterol and minimal saturated fat content, shrimp meat is a preferred option for individuals aiming to maintain a healthy diet. The vast expanse of the ocean holds the promise of fulfilling dreams and attaining wealth. In today's video, we'll accompany fishermen in the US as they venture to catch billions of lobsters and king crabs. According to data from the US Department of Agriculture, American fishermen harvested 280 million pounds of lobster in 2022. Notably, the state of Maine stands as the primary lobster supplier in the US, contributing approximately 82% of the total production. Lobsters thrive in the Northwest Atlantic Ocean, with the highest concentrations found in coastal waters stretching from Maine to New Jersey, and they are also commonly found offshore at depths of up to 2,300 feet. It typically takes lobsters about five to seven years to reach the legal harvest size. On an average day, fishermen can haul in 250 to 300 traps yielding a harvest ranging from 800 to 900 pounds of lobster. Join us as we delve into the intricacies of this fascinating industry. A lobster fisherman's day begins bright and early at 3 a.m. Before setting off, they diligently prepare fresh bait to place in their traps. Setting out in small boats, these fishermen navigate to locations where lobsters are known to congregate. The traps, typically crafted from wire mesh or wood, are baited with herring, flounder or other seafood delicacies. Engineered with entrances that make it easy for lobsters to access but challenging to escape, each trap is equipped with a small escape hole to safeguard juvenile lobsters. Positioned on the seabed at depths ranging from 6 feet to 90 feet, the traps are left to soak for two to three days before being retrieved. Using a specialised hook, fishermen retrieve the buoy marking each trap's location. The trap line is then hauled onto the boat and secured to a hydraulic trap pull-up, a pulley-like mechanism that effortlessly hoists the trap from the seabed onto the vessel. Capable of accommodating up to 20 lobsters, each trap is meticulously inspected before being reset at its original position. This process is repeated diligently until the conclusion of the fishing season. Such is the rhythm and routine of the lobster fishing trade. On the boat, lobsters are meticulously sorted adhering to strict size regulations. Any lobster measuring under 3.27 inches or exceeding 5 inches in length 
is promptly returned to the ocean. Additionally, measures are in place to safeguard female lobsters carrying eggs, ensuring the sustainability of lobster populations. This regulated approach to lobster fishing is vital for preserving the delicate balance of marine ecosystems. For divers, efficiency and precision are paramount given the limited time and oxygen available underwater. Furthermore, lobsters, which can weigh up to 44 pounds, wield considerable strength in their aquatic habitat, posing potential risks to divers. Like embarking on a treasure hunt across the vast expanse of the ocean, the success of a fishing trip hinges greatly on the skill of the fishermen, as well as the choice of fishing location and prevailing weather conditions. Hence, speculation and luck play pivotal roles in shaping the outcome of each expedition. Over the past century, the lobster fishing industry has undergone significant advancements in processing techniques, equipment, regulations and fishing methods. One of the most notable shifts in the lobster market has been the surge in demand for live lobsters. Responding to this consumer preference for freshness, lobster processors have adapted their practices accordingly. However, this places added pressure on fishermen, who must now catch and handle lobsters directly on the boat, as the initial steps of preservation and processing must occur there. Consequently, direct shipping has become commonplace, leading to a wide array of fresh frozen lobster meat varieties available in the market. Lobster fishing along the northeast coast has been a tradition passed down through generations for centuries. Thus, it is imperative not only to catch high-quality lobsters, but also to ensure their sustained growth for future generations of fishermen. To this end, the US government has implemented stricter regulations on lobster harvesting to promote the development and preservation of lobster resources in the ocean. Fishermen are required to obtain licenses for lobster harvesting and adhere to regulations regarding the minimum and maximum size of lobsters that can be harvested. These measures aim to safeguard the long-term sustainability of the lobster industry while preserving this age-old tradition for generations to come. Farewell, ocean lobsters. It's time to embark on a king crab fishing expedition with the fishermen of New Jersey along the northeast coast. As dawn breaks, the fishermen set out on their boats, aiming to capture as many king crabs as possible. Employing specialized traps, these fishermen endeavor to ensnare these colossal crustaceans. The traps, box-shaped and constructed with a steel frame covered in nylon mesh, weigh between 600 to 800 pounds each, with the vessel capable of carrying 150 to 300 traps. Herring and cod often serve as bait within these traps. Once deployed to the seabed, where king crabs make their habitat, the traps are marked with buoys on the sea surface for easy identification and retrieval. After resting on the seabed for one to two days, the traps are hauled back to the surface. This moment is eagerly anticipated by the fishermen as it unveils whether their efforts have yielded success. With the traps brought aboard the boat, the fishermen proceed to sort and classify their catch, a pivotal stage in the fishing process. King crabs failing to meet the minimum carapace length of 7 inches and falling within the weight range of 712 to 8 pounds are returned to the ocean. Once caught, king crabs are kept alive in tanks aboard the boat until reaching shore for sale. 
it's crucial to promptly remove any deceased crabs as they can release toxins that threaten the entire tank's health and jeopardize the catch. After capture, fishermen transport the king crabs to the port where they are stored in oxygenated ice to maintain freshness. Alaskan king crab fishing typically occurs in the autumn months in the waters of Alaska and the Aleutian Islands. High-quality king crabs are then shipped globally. Legal hunting seasons dictate the permitted types of king crabs that can be harvested throughout the year, with only male king crabs eligible for hunting and processing. Beyond their culinary and economic significance, king crab fishing entails various trades and dangers. The perilous nature of king crab fishing is underscored by its high risk, with the mortality rate among fishermen approximately 80 times greater than that of typical workers. Shockingly, statistics reveal that, on average, one king crab fisherman loses their life weekly during hunting seasons. Over 80% of these fatalities result from drowning or hypothermia, with fishermen also vulnerable to injuries arising from heavy machinery and equipment operation. Despite the lucrative rewards, the pursuit of king crabs demands immense courage and resilience from those who dare to venture into its treacherous waters. The income generated from king crab fishing significantly bolsters the livelihoods of American fishermen. According to statistics from the US Department of Agriculture, the export value of US king crab is projected to reach approximately $500 million in 2022. For these fishermen, the ocean harbors opportunities for prosperity, despite its remote and perilous nature. Braving the vast expanse, turbulent waves, and unpredictable weather, they embark on their maritime journeys in pursuit of wealth. Indeed, fishermen serve as the vital link connecting us to the ocean's bounty, from the lobsters and king crabs harvested from its depths to the delectable dishes served on our dinner tables. Their tireless efforts form an integral part of the intricate process that brings seafood from the ocean to consumers worldwide. As many of you might be aware, crocodile leather ranks among the most opulent and costly materials worldwide. Its rugged allure adds a touch of sophistication and uniqueness to fashion and beauty items. Let's explore the origins of these creatures. Across the globe, there exist various species of crocodiles primarily categorized into two families, crocodile and alligator. Not only are these creatures symbols of strength and dominance in the animal kingdom, but they also possess an enigmatic and alluring charm. Alligators, renowned for their robustness and survival instincts, hold significance not only in nature, but also in human culture. While revered as sacred in certain regions, crocodiles have become targets for hunting, primarily for meat and leather, in other parts of the world. The crocodile farming industry, along with its associated technologies, thrives in Africa, Asia, Australia, and the Americas, catering to the production of meat, leather, and high-end merchandise derived from these creatures. Today, numerous crocodile farms and facilities have been established, transforming crocodile farming into a substantial and lucrative sector, generating revenues ranging from 60 to $70 million. This growth reflects the industry's capacity to meet the demand for crocodile products in the global market. 
crocodile eggs are meticulously gathered and identified at the spawning area before being transported to the farm. The incubation process for alligator eggs is a momentous occasion at the farm. Approximately 90 days later, the newborn alligators emerge, measuring only the size of a thumb and about the length of a finger. Initially, they move sluggishly in the first few minutes after hatching, but quickly gain agility and develop the ability to forage for food. The dietary requirements of crocodiles typically include primary ingredients such as poultry, fish, beef, and various other sources of protein, all of which play a vital role in supporting their growth and overall health maintenance. Crocodile farmers often employ specialized feeding techniques, tailoring the diet to meet the specific nutritional needs of these animals. Don't forget to take a moment to refresh yourself with a cup of tea, and please leave a comment with the number one to indicate that you're still following along with this video. Join us as we continue our exploration of fascinating subjects you may have never encountered before. Here, we demonstrate the manual process traditionally used for handling alligator meat. With just a knife, chefs can adeptly skin, fillet, and debone the alligator. These facilities are equipped with cutting-edge technology to ensure the efficient and safe processing of alligator meat. Skilled processing experts utilize state-of-the-art equipment to expertly skin, fillet, and handle the meat, adhering to strict food safety standards and maintaining top-notch quality. The Alligator Meat Factory serves as a hub where numerous skilled and experienced technicians in the field converge. Crocodile meat portions undergo meticulous processing and packaging to cater to consumer needs. Have you ever had the pleasure of tasting dishes prepared with crocodile meat? Renowned for its relatively mild flavor, akin to poultry or salmon, crocodile meat is also a nutrient-rich source of protein, boasting essential vitamins such as B12 and niacin, along with minerals like zinc and iron, which support energy and overall bodily functions. Moreover, Owing to its low fat content, particularly saturated fat, crocodile meat contributes to reducing the risk of heart disease. Would you like to savour the delectable flavour of crocodile meat? Undoubtedly, you're familiar with products crafted from alligator leather. The process of harvesting alligator skin for fashion items entails a delicate and professional approach. Alligator leather, renowned for its distinctive grain and exceptional durability, emerges as a premium material for an array of products including handbags, wallets, belts, shoes and various accessories. The process of harvesting alligator leather often employs modern technologies, with air compression machines playing a pivotal role. These machines aid in delicately separating the skin from the underlying connective and muscular tissues, minimizing damage while ensuring efficiency. This modern approach not only maintains the natural characteristics of the leather, but also upholds its high quality and aesthetic appeal, essential for the final fashion products. To further enhance the allure of crocodile leather, it undergoes dyeing and is meticulously brushed with a special layer to achieve a polished finish before being incorporated into the manufacturing process. Each product crafted from crocodile leather reflects the refinement and dedication of artisans throughout every stage of production, from cutting and stitching to the final embellishments. It's a harmonious blend of skill and passion resulting in pieces that exude not only elegance, but also true craftsmanship.
We sincerely hope that the videos and information we provide are beneficial to you and your endeavors. Come along as we set sail on this extraordinary journey, brimming with thrilling and enchanting encounters that are sure to ignite your sense of wonder. Based on the 22 marine fishery catch data, there has been a noteworthy uptick, with a total of 9.1 million pounds recorded, marking a slight increase from the previous year's figure of 8.83 million tonnes. With millions of pounds harvested, the seafood industry not only serves as a vital seafood provider, but also stands as an indispensable component of the economy and the distinctive coastal culture. In the North Atlantic Ocean and its neighboring marine expanses, particularly in the Mediterranean Sea, abundant fish stocks abound. The period from May to September marks the zenith of fishing activity. During these months, fish schools migrate towards shallower waters to aid in the spawning cycle, presenting opportune conditions for fishermen to pursue their catch. Among the most prized fisheries worldwide is the Alaska Pollock, harvested in the North Pacific within the Bering Sea, boasting a catch volume surpassing 3 million tonnes in 2016. Walleye pollock and Peruvian anchovy stand out as some of the largest fisheries on a global scale. In the pursuit of sizeable catches, fishermen frequently employ large trolling nets, chains and substantial winches to deploy and retrieve the abundance of fish they capture. These fishing vessels deploy extensive lines stretching up to 50 miles adorned with hundreds of thousands of baited hooks. These lines are either trailed behind the boat at varying depths or kept afloat by buoys, left overnight to entice any marine life in the vicinity with a bountiful feast. The eagerly anticipated moment for fishermen has finally arrived as the net is hoisted up, yielding tons of fish. Were you aware that during extended deep sea fishing expeditions, where fishermen venture far from the coastline into deeper waters, these journeys can span several days or even weeks? The duration can vary based on the fish species targeted, fishing methods employed, and the vessel's capacity. Fishermen frequently encounter considerable obstacles such as inclement weather, rough seas, and equipment breakdowns. According to NOAA's database on commercial fishing activities in 2001-22, the total catch of fish in the United States reached 800,000 pounds, valued at $2.3 million. This not only represents a notable accomplishment in the domain of deep sea fishing, but also serves as a symbol of human resilience and sustainable harvesting capabilities. However, it's important to note that in reality, 90% of the large fish population has been depleted due to excessive fishing. Do you believe we should cease this exploitation? Please respond with one for agreement and zero for disagreement. In pursuit of peak efficiency, fishermen employ specialised equipment aboard fishing vessels. These tools are meticulously calibrated to aid in the optimal utilisation of open sea resources. They encompass cutting-edge technologies and methodologies, such as precision fishing nets, contemporary positioning systems and monitoring devices. These innovations are geared towards ensuring that the fishing process unfolds with maximum effectiveness and sustainability. Fishermen have developed sophisticated monitoring tanks to maintain the water temperature at an optimal level, ensuring the freshness of the fish and preventing any potential damage that could compromise the quality upon arrival at shore. 
This practice not only lowers the fish's metabolic rate, but also enhances their freshness upon reaching land. Additionally, the strategic use of ice is pivotal in sustaining the desired temperature throughout the process. In addition to that, the vessels are equipped with onboard freezing facilities, enabling processing to take place directly at sea before the products are transported ashore. Following capture by the sailors, the fish are meticulously conveyed to the processing compartments on the vessels, where a series of specialized care procedures are initiated. This process encompasses sorting, cleaning, cutting, head cutting, finning, gutting, egg separation, filling, rapid freezing, and arranging the frozen goods onto pallets. It represents a sequence of technical stages. Subsequently, the fish progress along the processing line to the filleting stage. Initially, the fillets undergo meticulous sorting. Skilled processing workers then commence their tasks. The process begins with precise and accurate filling of the fish to uphold the shape and quality of each fillet. Ultimately, the fillets advance down the processing line to the canning procedure. Fishermen evacuate air from the cans to forestall contamination before securely sealing them. Have you ever indulged in a seafood dish? Fish stands out as a high-quality protein source with low-fat content. What distinguishes it is its rich reservoir of omega-3 fatty acids and a variety of vitamins including D and B2, riboflavin. We genuinely appreciate your support and enthusiasm for our channel. Your continued viewership means the world to us and we are committed to providing valuable content that enriches your knowledge and endeavours. Thank you wholeheartedly for being a part of our community.